I know it's been a long time, but I'm back. I don't have a weekly vlog for you, but I have one that capsulates a month, the month of May. The month of May, very busy month for me. I was working almost every weekend, except for the last one when I was preparing for our more Memorial Day cookout. Um, the beginning part of May, my um, youngest came home from college, a readjustment there. Um, my boss went out on for surgery, so I've been the junior commissioner going places. I've been speaking. We've had events, um, about three of them, on Saturdays in the month of May. Um, just had a lot of different things going on, but I have been keeping up with my garden, and of course I've been cooking. I did do some lives, so make sure you check those out. And uh, yeah, um, I do have a, a treat in here. Uh, my son and I, the youngest, Sharif, we did um, take a little a little um, trip about an hour and 45 minutes from where we live, and um, we beheld some of uh, God's glory in nature. So s stick around for that inside of this um, catch-up. I hope all is well, and uh, yeah, I'll see you out here in these YouTube streets. Peekaboo. Is trying to eat my um, leaves. The dill is doing fine, the basil, and the onions, rosemary, peppers. Looks like something is eating the leaves. The thyme is fine, and I have onions around the perimeter. Now, my lavender is blooming. So, that's good. I'm happy about that. I'm gonna um, learn how to make lavender tea. This lavender isn't going anything yet. So that's okay. I am gonna have to come out here and put more dirt inside of these potatoes. But everything is looking well. But these were the very small potatoes. Um, nothing's going on with my elephant ear yet. I did come over here and I have put more soil in these potatoes, so it looks like I need to put some more. But it's a process, so this is potato raw. Now, nothing's going on with the seeds, the beans that I dropped, but I see they're exposed. Uh, something inadvertently is growing right there. I don't know what it is. But these right here. These are the peas and they come out of the flowers. So these are burgundy bush beans. So I'm excited to see how this is gonna do. Um, that's the one butterfly pea that made it. And the onions, holly hot negra. And I actually took the cauliflower and took them apart and yeah, we'll see what survives. But my sunflower, pretty well. I'm going to come and trim my onions. They're doing well. Next thing is healthy. Uh-oh. My teaching is fine. Um, Brussels sprouts, some or whatever. I have lemon cubes back here, but I do have black beauty tomatoes that are growing. The marigolds are finally coming up from seed. I'm so happy. And then these uh, are onions. And these are zinnias uh, for pest repellent and marigolds. Here are my um, tomatoes. And I have onions around the perimeter. And then my arugula. 
and the wildflowers. There's absolutely nothing happening with my wildflowers. And I used all the water that was in the rainwater stuff. Um, yeah, it's it's hard. Hard garden. I'm telling you. But patience. Patience. So you can do it. If I can do it, you can do it. I mean, like, look, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Alright, well, I'm going to be cooking live tonight and then I'll um, show you a little something, something. Uh, yeah. I got my coffee, right? I did not get Would my you like coffee. To you <laughs> Dorsha in my garden just giving you a little update this is my broccolini I'm going to harvest this today and cook this and um, hopefully it will continue to grow this is my dill seems to be coming along there's some basil we have onions right here rosemary and there's onions around the perimeter of here but these are my um, peppers that I have going on this is the blonde the orange the yellow and then those are just green so there has been something eating the leaves whenever I turn on the back of the leaves you just never see anything I'm wondering whether or not I should even um, prune them at this moment but see, nothing is touching the leaves on those, but they're touching the leaves on these. So. <sighs> Got that going on. Here's my lavender. It's coming along. I have some bird action going on behind me. I dropped some seed bush. Um, these are called ponder beans. That's what they are. I dropped them from seed, so and here they are. I'll let you know. And what goes on the leaves look very healthy here's some more um, lavender nothing really going on but it looks okay I'm allowing my house plants to get some outdoor especially these um, fiddle leaves they're from Africa and <laughs> this has been a learning experience this was my first one one of the branches died and this one is still alive and it just produced a new leaf and I got this from Lowe's they had them um, two for 30 so we'll see <laughs> here are some of my little potatoes they um, probably are doing well they have a while to go flowers and finally my elephant ear is coming up I can't wait to see what it's gonna look like although this is not you know I did not plant this this are blue these are blueberries you know, Sunday backyard farmer okay back down potato lane <laughs> anyway these are my potatoes they are coming through coming through those are my potatoes now my grow bags are completely up and of course for those who grow potatoes you know of course the foliage is still growing i can add some more dirt to that and bring that up but these were the last ones i planted those right there are the ones i planted first more of the ponder be um ponder beans that i um direct so that was 
one lavender out of all the lavender seeds that I planted. That's the only one. <laughs> now these are the burgundy bush um, beans that I planted earlier. And look, you see those? Look, there's a big one over there. You see that? Yeah, they're coming, slowly but surely. They are coming, you see that? But look at what happened to the leaves and I was turning the leaves over, couldn't find the cul culprit, but yep. And they come from those flowers, but yep, they're coming along. I have some in the back over here as well. So have Georgia um, sweet onions. I only had one butterfly pea flower make it out of this whole row. These are the hollyhocks, Negra. Um, they're coming along. We'll see what happens. That's my cauliflower. Seems like they're trying to hold on, but uh, because <laughs> I had to separate them. And onions. Look, look like the chipmunk like to dig into my onions. Look at this. Like these things. <laughs> the chipmunks. Mm. And my sunflowers. There's my peach tree. Yes, my baby peach tree. Look what it's doing for mama, honey. Yes, come through, baby peach tree. Okay. My fig tree. Nothing really happening, but she's there. She's um, content. I did plant some onions over here near the strawberries and the leaves are just standing up. Like they used to be like, like hanging down or something, but they're over here with these onions. I'm trying to keep the squirrels away planting these onions. But uh, here's the arugula, arugula. I don't, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> it is a little weird. One onion, <laughs> there are the leeks <laughs> as they start growing. We'll, um, I'll separate them, K. Renee. These are the Texas onions that are, are on the perimeter here. Here are my um, 100 super sweet tomatoes, my marigolds, and then I have zinnias that are growing from seed. Right here, and more Texas. Um, I don't even know what this was, but uh, look like the milk's gone bad. <laughs> Milk has gone bad. Yep, marigolds from seed. Just got a lot of, a lot of stuff. We're gonna see what happens. We're gonna see what happens, honey. What happens? So that's my garden update. Until next time. Happy Saturday to you, Sharif. And I are about to do the DCTT um, trail, well, hike at Clinton Nature Preserves out here in Douglas County. If you haven't had a chance to come out and you lived in Atlanta Metro, come to the Clinton Nature Preserve and it has trails and also has a fishing lake. It has a plethora of things, but anyway, we're going to go and make it do what it do. We're going to get our walk on, our cardio. We're starting off the day right. Huh? Right, Sharif? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do we not? The next nature preserve hike will be in Dorsha's backyard. Stay tuned.
so how far how Thank you.